I am very pleased to introduce America's true education president and the greatest champion of working parents and working families that the United States of America has ever known, President Bill Clinton. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, I have to go back to work on my State of the Union speech. And I worked on it till pretty late last night. But I want to say one thing to the American people. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false. And I need to go back to work for the American people. Thank you. And when I was in England, I experimented with marijuana a time or two, and I didn't like it and didn't inhale, and never tried it again, and didn't inhale, and didn't inhale, and didn't inhale. All right, boys, boys, you burned through like a half pound of the fucking reefer in the last few days. Yeah, we, right, we, I don't care if you're inhaling or not, we gotta get some fucking work done, boys. Welcome to fucking Pimp Dracula's mansion of fucking Washington, D.C. It's kind of like the Vatican. We've been over it. Now, yeah, Time to get serious now, boy. Yeah, we got a lot of fucking work today, boys. Uh, friends call me W. George, George Bush. Yeah, George Bush Jr. George Bush Sr. I don't know as much about George Bush Sr. I'm in the role of George Bush Jr. Yeah, my friends call me W. Goddamn. Hey, yeah, how do you think I learned how to speak American? Yeah, yeah, my primary... Because he was on the news, motherfucker. I'm just saying. Yeah, George W. himself was my primary ambassador to America growing up. Literally, I, like, yeah, I, he was the guy on the, you know, that's the American guy on the news. I, the president, I'm just saying, yeah, that, that's the American accent. That's some guy from Texas talking about WMDs. Yeah, to me, that, that yeah, he represents America. Whoa, what, yeah, what about your fucking floppy dildos, bitch? Go, th yeah, I'm, you, 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 fuck yourself. Whatever, yeah, I'm sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't doubt he'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, I sh I'll cool my jets a bit. I'll try to be a little more professional, W. If he, yeah, he might hear this. Hey, every politician is a sleazy douchebag. I got, whatever. Yeah, I'll put in a good word for George Bush. Well, yeah, he's America in a, yeah, America in war. Yeah, we're still dealing with it, bud. At this point, you're probably hoping America's ready for, yeah, you're going to be glad I got some fucking caveman nukes and a howitzer. <clears throat> he's at least, I don't know, level-headed, like, base, straight up basic competence. He's not brilliant. He's... This, I've mentioned this. Good politicians, you don't... Yeah, God damn it! Sorry, someone might be laughing. You might think I'm a smart guy. No, oh, someone's laughing. Yeah, yeah, you might agree with a lot of my ideas, bro. If I was the president... Yeah, you know how when Donald Trump is... Yeah, when he's talking about whatever? Yeah, straight up whatever. It's hard enough for me to write notes in a script and record... Yeah, we sometimes... But yeah, it takes a long time to make a good... Like a three-minute song... Bruh, if reporters just showed up in my office one day in a busy work day, like, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm even at my house when I'm chilling. Yeah, knock, knock, knock. I go open the door. Hi, BBC News. Uh, can you please? Yeah, bruh, I'd be talking about fucking Jar Jar Binks, Kim Jong-un shit show festival, a sexy sweaty bitch, and fucking, yeah, goddamn. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? I would sound just as crazy as Donald Trump. If you saw that interview on the news, you'd be like, that guy's in charge? He's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get it. You don't know. Well, we, yeah. We need someone who's really smart, not crazy, has never been racist. Uh, okay. Yeah. I Hey, I understand why you, you know, you might want certain qualities in a leader. I just hate to say it. 
one of the, uh, whatever, it's the last bit of philosophy I can touch on before we get into crazy zone. One of the biggest follies I see with, you know, the, the, yeah, the goddamn some hillbilly. What's the polite thing? Yeah, count, hey, I'm trying to be a, for, for, I'm doing this for W. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to be, be professional on behalf of George W here. What's a moderately, yeah, moderately polite. I can still make fun of them, but yeah, you want me to, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're not there yet. I ain't get, yeah, yeah. The hippies, no, hippies are cool, man. Yeah, fucking hippie Hitler, man. I'm the I'm the world's biggest hippie, the world's most tolerant hippie. I'm just saying, straight up. Whatever, people who think they want peace, but it's like, uh, yeah, on one hand, if you you gotta stop telling or thinking you can tell other people what to do, sure, you can make suggestions, but if you're thinking, yo, they can't do that, okay, you are not in favor of peace, one way or another, you think, yeah, if that same person's gonna say, oh, America, you're fighting for peace? That doesn't make sense. Makes more sense than anything you've said so far. Sorry, I had a point here. I, God damn it. See? It's hard enough for me to I'd read three notes off an introduction. If this was a presidential speech, straight up. Why is this guy, he sounds cr crazy. Yeah, exactly. We need someone who's a little more calm, cool, level, kind of like George W. Sorry, guys. Fucking hell. He's got charisma, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's like... I hope you get it. The president, he's not King Henry, he's not Captain Superman, he's an ambassador. He's, yes, he makes decisions, I've been, I've been over this, but the idea of, yeah, no, I'm sorry, getting back to this. A lot of people who think, like, they're against bad things, like, no, I would never, you know, we, we can't vote for Donald Trump, vote blue no matter who, basically. It's, I've, I've seen <clears throat> this, all, yeah, this is why I, God damn, I take very little interest in a lot of these types of politics. I've heard the same thing my whole life. Okay, well, voting season, who are you voting for? All that matters is that that bad guy doesn't win. Yeah, that guy's a racist, uh, whatever. Literally, it's, that guy's racist. We, well, we, everyone has to vote for the other guy, no matter who it is, because that guy's racist. And maybe a war, yeah, basically every time anyone's, oh no, he's racist, okay, we have to vote for the other guy. You, you're, what about you? No, whatever. Hey. Fair enough. If, if it's bad, yeah, if it's bad enough, hey, we can discuss options. Can we discuss options? If your only criteria is, yeah, like, okay, she's whatever, yeah, they're they're in, they're pro-LGBTQ, whatever, hey, if they're involved in legal stuff, sure, you might want to change a law here and there. That, that shouldn't be your only criteria, not just because of competence. Again, you don't need a super genius, otherwise he's going to sound crazier than Donald Trump. Yeah, a professor nutcase man stumbling out of his trailer, his, his science lab somewhere. Oh, Doc Brown. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, we work in fucking basement lab laboratories. Yeah, yeah, they hide us away from the public so that you don't hear us talking about sexy sweaty bitch and grandmaster genocide and fucking got she bitch man hookers in Thailand to Taiwan. Yeah, exactly. You'd be like, what? Well, you can't, yeah, I can't say that in front of you or you'll piss yourself. So they lock us in basements to do our work while we talk about these things. They hire guys like George W. to Matthew McConaughey to talk about things in a cool southern accent. Just chill, everyone. Yeah, yeah, we might have to go fight a war in Iraq. Thing is, yeah, like, I don't know, comparing the speeches with presidents, again, he's not a brilliant genius. It's just like, he's at least willing to... He's a douchebag, but he's not hipster douchebag. He's like, yeah, this could take a long time. Frankly, I don't know how long. So like, yeah, <laughs> how much is it going to cost? He's like, if I told you, it would be a lie. Yeah, he's like, I'd be lying if I gave you an exact number. Well, what does that mean? Oh, it could be 50,000, 100,000. Yeah, 150,000. Yeah, you want me to Donald Trump this shit? Or, oh, no, don't worry. Every, yeah, you don't worry. You're yeah, the hero. Yeah, nothing will bad will happen. Everything will be okay. I'm trying to be realistic here, but it's like, I, I can't emphasize enough. The, the real problem with this, thinking, oh, no, no, all we have to do is vote for that guy and everything will be fine. Has that ever worked before? Sure, it might be an improvement. You get it. The, these the, the wrong kind of righteous people will think, okay, the most important thing is making sure this racist, chauvinist, uh, rapist, yeah, okay. Fair enough. I, yeah, I don't like, yeah, that sounds like a bad person. Okay, all we have to do is make sure he doesn't win this election. Okay, good, we voted for the guy who's not racist. Right on. Okay, my job, yeah, my job's done. I did everything I could. There's still a lot of problems. Oh, the government should fix it. Yeah, no, don't worry. They, they have this idea that, no, no, that guy, if he's in charge, he's not in charge. He's not the king. He's, yeah, he's an ambassador. His job is to do speeches on the news, to go to other countries and talk to people. It's an important job. You need someone who's charismatic. You need straight up Matthew McConaughey to be like, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, yeah, straight up. You don't want crazy motherfucker. Yeah, 
You don't want Ronald Reagan t telling you to murder your children so they don't become communists. I'm not joking. That is fucking verbatim, man. But yeah, that is like... I'm sorry. You might be like, oh yeah, ooh, that was... Yeah, that was crazy. When you see Hitler to Auschwitz Kampf and you go, oh my god, yeah. It's the same thing for me, for us. And I just, I hope you see, like, you know... I. A lot of this is speculative theory with you guys. Yeah, ooh, I'm really trying to get to the, the nitty-gritty of this stuff, but I hope you realize, like, yeah, this this isn't just going to go away because, you know, oh, don't worry, yeah, it'll blow over eventually. Fucking nuclear jihad of anthrax is going to blow over eventually, brah. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. In, in a way, it's like, I don't want to call you, like, abuse. Yeah, this is, you know, a typical behavior of an abusive uh, whatever, yeah, in their mind, they're not abusive, of course. Yeah, oh, you know, I've got some problems. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, you're you're not that bad of a guy. He's a good person. Yeah, if you're a good person, you can do whatever the fuck you want. That's, like, as far as how far can excess righteousness go. It means, no, I know you're a good person, so no matter what you no matter what you do, we can always forgive you. Can you forget? No, yeah, exactly. Can I have, oh, yeah, I, I, I don't want you to forgive me. That'd be fucking boring. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm too used to this, bro. This is too much fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can you blame me for, uh, you know, in, in, enjoying my lot in life? Yeah. No, you're supposed to be miserable. Ma, fuck it. You guys are miserable. What were we talking about? See, this is why I told you we shouldn't smoke a half pound of fucking weed before we start working here, bro. Yeah, yeah. I had a, yeah, guys, that, that was too much reefer, boys. Yeah, I, I tried not to inhale straight up. I you gotta breathe eventually. It, might, it was inadvertent, uh, secondhand, uh, yeah, yeah. God damn, motherfuckers. We'll get to it. So yeah, <clears throat> let's go through uh, what points we can, you know, touch on solidly. So I might be thinking too, uh, I guess uh, the fall of the Soviet Union is going to be a little vague. Y yeah, again, have you? has it ever not been vague? Yeah, well, the communists, yeah. Not many people from the outside know much about the internal politics. Yeah, evil fascism. Some people have a good sense of, like, the economic factors. Yeah, something, it's kind of like, why is every, why is everything so crazy? Why is everyone broke? Yeah, I can, are you expecting things to grow infinitely? Yeah, no, it, it's one of those things. Something was bound to happen eventually. Well, should we panic? We could manage things. Uh, yeah, 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 this plane is crashing. Should we get parachutes? Let's wait until we, after we crash, and then, I don't know, does anyone, after, yeah. After we crash, we'll start deciding whether we should start thinking about what, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, guys. It's all, yeah, I'm struggling to think of a better way to, you know, a more accurate metaphor. <clears throat> I'm not expecting you to jump out of your seat and fix everything. But if you are perpetuating the idea, again, it's like, I don't expect you to care. But if you only care to tell me not to care, that is, at that point, you are part of the problem. Yeah, ooh, I'm part of the solution. It's cool to be neutral. Yeah, I hope you're not just, yeah, going around telling people to not do, yeah. Oh, don't worry, I've made sure no one tries to fix anything. Yeah, yeah, good. Everyone, as long as everything is pleasant, yeah, we'll make sure your death is very pleasant. Just saying, bro. Okay, yeah. Basically, the, the only part I know enough about is, okay, yeah, Stalin was a fucking raging, yeah, d douchebag infinitus uh, grandmaster genocide. Yeah, people... It's kind of like with Rome. Yeah, back in Rome, a lot of people didn't like us. Some people tolerated us, whatever. Some people liked them, some people didn't. The, whoever wasn't a victim of his purges, or god damn it, dude. Right, it's like, god damn it, I don't know, man. I, he didn't do this, he, he, this wasn't, you know, jerk-off porn for him. This is a guy who is literally, even he can't handle this much pressure. It's like, okay, yeah, no no one else is in a position to fix this problem. He knows that he can't just Google it straight up. He, he, he doesn't have a Google Gulag. He, he can't call anyone to help him. Yeah, he can't call police or UN or, yeah, the, the, literally the only person who's straight up Man of Steel Superman. The reason Stalin is known for being such a hard-ass Whatever, why do you think I have this level of respect for him? He is one of very few people in the world who it's like, what, yeah, I'll literally gotta do, do I gotta do all this shit myself, boys? Like, straight up, he's gotta do everything himself his whole life, even when he ha owns a Kremlin fucking nuke factory, whatever. He's, it's like, yeah, he, of course, he starts to get a little fuzz, foggy. Sure, I can't blame him for getting a little, little nutty when he's really old or just, you know, losing his edge, but it's like, 
I don't know. Again, this thing with crazy dictators, I'm not sure if most people notice, most crazy dictators don't last very long at all. Like, a couple of years at most, like, whether it's Hitler or Saddam. Sure, Saddam was, you know, a, a politician for a long time. I mean, once they become, once they end up on CNN, yeah, when you see the, the most evil man in the universe on CNN. Well, yeah, FBI, fucking goddamn, you get it. World Police Most Wanted. Once it, that is in effect, yeah. Even with, like, Bin Laden. Bin Laden, you get it, though. With the Taliban, the Bin Laden is not a dictator. He's fucking, god damn, you get it? He's a Scarface mob nun. It, the difference is flexibility, elbow room, yeah, yeah, less... God damn, I don't, it keeps coming back to this douchebag marketing stuff. Less red tape, less um, the, the overhead. Yeah, that's why. Why is it so expensive for you and so cheap for me? There's a number of factors. The, the amount of stuff you need, multiplied by the distance you have to move it, multiplied by the amount of extra people it takes to manage all this, multiplied by all the red tape and shit, well, we need insurance and everyone needs the health, yeah, 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 yeah. There's this thing with mercenaries, I don't know if you've ever considered this. <clears throat> okay, if you hire mercenaries, yeah, god damn it, if you fuck your mercenaries, your mercenaries will ass fuck you, I'm just saying, you, you have to pay them, but what if they all die? That means you don't have to pay them. Oh, snap. Um, yeah, think. Get sleazy douchebag with straight up Mr. Burns. Okay. If I, the more soldiers I hire, the more I have to pay them. If I can't afford it, I'm fucked. If we win, if I hire a million soldiers and we win, uh-oh, I can't afford this. If I hire two million soldiers and almost lose, we could still win and I might not have to pay them. So losing twice as many soldiers could be a lot cheaper for me. And a lot more expensive for you. Yeah, I like I said, it's, it's you guys are looking like the primitive cavemen in this scenario, and the fucking straight up Muslims on Mars. I don't think they're alien flying saucers. I'm saying hypothetically. Yeah, like that's right. Imagine, yeah, the, the, God damn it. I'm sorry if that's a little too abstract. Some Muslim guys are like, wait a minute, no, no, no. That's what it's like though. It's like, I hope you get it. The reason things get so crazy is you're used to fighting primitive savage jungle tribes. Yeah, that's god damn it. Yeah, for the last for centuries you've been going around the world raping all the Indians. Whatever. Oh, okay. When we try, let's go do it again. Now, yeah, yeah. Now, now you're the savages and they're fucking shooting fish in a barrel, basically. Sure, we'll pretend we're poor. We'll pretend we're miserable. We'll go burn a, a city and be like, oh my god, look at this city. I'm not saying you didn't blow up some cities, but you get it. And I guess, whatever, the one thing I want to touch on too here is, so I'd be thinking, okay, yeah, what, what do we do? They might be thinking, you know, can't we just destroy Afghanistan? You could, Grandmaster Genocide. Okay, what, what if, God damn it! here's the thing. I want to give, yeah, ooh, I'm a little Im impressed with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm turning Persian straight up in my whole Hashashinator fucking, yeah, black, black shadow mask shit going, yeah, you know what I'm saying, brah. Yeah, I'm straight Persian fucking uh, Hashashinator going on with this shit. You don't doubt these fucking Saracen mobsters have created the best phalanx ever. Yeah, this is it, boys. They have a, they've set up the best phalanx. Yeah, you want to go charge into their phalanx? Yeah, they, they know how to do this. Yeah, yeah, they certainly know how to set up a phalanx after dealing with us for so long. I'm yeah, I'm getting too old for this shit, bro. I'm I'm going Persian fucking hashashinator. I'll do I'll do this. You guys can go dig in the ultimate like attrition network. They have tailored their whole defense network around. Yeah, best defense is a good offense, offense, defense. My job is to make you go broke, literally. Yeah, the whole point is to slow you down, waste your time, confuse you. Yeah, god damn it. Fucking decoys, fake retreats, uh, fake units. Yeah, the, the my, my job is to make you waste time and waste money and walk around in circles getting lost. And what are we doing? Where are we going? Yeah, the more time you spend doing that, you're... Every, I hope you realize when you go to these weird places, it's like okay, we got we can't just land a ship. Yeah, you, you get it inland. You can't just land a ship. You got to go from the ship inland. We could drop you out of a plane. The further you go, okay, you're gonna need more supplies, right? Yeah, oh, our supplies are gonna be late, brah. If our supplies are more than a day late, yeah, yeah, dehydration is one of the worst ways to die. I'm just saying, once again, it's like, if you don't, if you didn't think about this, oh no, but yeah, we can kick their asses, brah. If you studied history in the Crusades and Salahuddin and the Knights of Jerusalem, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, we know better. They control the water sources there. Okay, yeah, bomb, dude, you don't have enough bombs or bullets. Are you, yeah, go piss another billion trillion dollars into a flaming toilet. Have you not learned your lesson yet? 
oh no, just keep sending in more soldiers, just overwhelm them with firepower. This has happened in every war. World War One, the Allies come in thinking, no, we're, we're just going to overpower them. Yeah, yeah, we've gotten so used to this. I am hoping that your only plan is, don't worry, we got more soldiers, more, yeah, bigger, yeah, we're, we're going to fight, yeah, no. No, it is like taking a baseball bat to an anthill. Oh, just beat the shit out of it. Yeah, the harder you beat the shit out of that ant's nest. Yeah, the fucking 9-11 jihad of fucking termites, zerglings crawling out of your fucking wall at that point, basically. Like, oh my god, well, they can't do that. Yeah, you can do whatever. You can fucking murder their children to death, whatever. We'll get to the thing, too, with anthrax. Like, oh my god, I can't... Dude, you just poured Agent Orange all over Vietnam and then ran straight to the Middle East to... Yeah, and then they started using anthrax. Well, anthrax is... No, anthrax is better. It's... Yeah, it's not a pleasant way to die. Neither is napalm. It's a biological weapon, not a chemical weapon. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, it's like evil. Yeah, it's evil. Evil can evil, motherfucker. Chemical weapons are messy, sloppy, primitive weapons. It's like throwing your shit at someone. A biological weapon is a so sophisticated doctor, scientist. Yeah, they, they are way more advanced than you guys. You think you're more advanced because the TV is whatever. Yeah, we have a billion Walmarts. There's nice houses everywhere, but I can't afford any of them. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so we got schools and hospitals. That, do you? How's your kid's school? Yeah, yeah. How's your hospital bill? Yeah, yeah. Is every single thing... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. If you can... I hope you can get past this idea and at least accept that they, they have access to this technology. How much do we need? A hundred billion of that? How about... Yeah, let's start with five. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's... God damn it. Yeah, everything is bigger in Texas, especially your deficit. Some, uh, yeah, you guys can keep that. Oh, dude, George W., he's from Texas. Yeah, W., if you are, yeah, that's my gift to George W. Bush. Everything's bigger in Texas, especially your fucking deficit. Yeah, yeah, it's all yours, bud. If you don't use it before you die, I'm, I'm taking it back. <clears throat> Just saying. Yeah, you can't hand it off to someone else. Fuck that. Anyway... It's like a little, not a test, but just to, to tr I'm trying to trick you into thinking properly here. Yeah, ooh, whoops, let's not do that again. What does that mean? Okay, let's say well, we're going to Afghanistan. Yeah, we're, we're landing in China in five minutes, bud. Yeah, what are we doing? Well, we got to find Pimp Dracula's mansion of the Taliban. Where is it? Well, it's a big country. It's in a cave underground. Yeah, it's not just sitting, it's probably underground. You don't doubt they have like a, you know, kind of like Area 51 or maybe not as a, much infrastructure. This is... We've been doing this since before World War One. Again, technology... Yeah, here's a shovel. Dig a hole. Yeah, you can build nuclear carriers, and I can get a shovel and dig a hole. Me digging a hole with a shovel it can be more... Yeah. Think about it. Okay, they're, they're bringing in the Air Force. Well, we could, bu we could build an Air Force, or we could put our, our bases underground, so your Air Force is useless, mostly useless. I hope you realize that the, you know, American military is he quite heavily reliant on this network of logistical support. We can drop supplies, we can drop bombs, we can <laughs> send in naval units from here, there. No, you can, your Navy is useless, your Air Force is useless. Yeah, we're, we're going to force you to do yeah, the hard way. You're going to have to come in on foot with vehicles. We've got tanks, right? How much gas do you have? There's no, yeah, there's no gas station. There's oil. You need to refine it. God damn it, you get it. Let's drive our tanks in there and run out of gas. Thanks, you just gave us a bunch of tanks. I'm, dude, you're like, yeah, if you're that dumb, just send it. Yeah, deliver him a bunch of pizza. Basically, here's a bunch of stuff, guys, and a bunch of slaves, and yeah. Yeah, if you marched a big army in there and a bunch of tanks, you just gave him a bunch of tanks and a million POWs he can, yeah. No, brah. As soon as we start the clock, yeah, I'm going to hit the stopwatch when our operation starts. Do you get it? As soon as that stopwatch starts... Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. you can't pause, you can't take a break. Yeah, there, there might be a reset button, but there's no pause button. Remember, if there is a, a slight de de delay in any of our logisticals, yeah, everyone's going to die of thirst, or you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, it's probably not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's probably not that big of a deal until you're in the middle of a desert in Afghanistan. And start, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. One of the, f one of the first footages I saw was... The soldier is trying to cope with the heat, what, like 50 degrees Celsius? It's like almost 100 Fahrenheit, dude, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, it, it's the kind that would give most people a heat stroke. Well, well, yeah, why do you think they wear sheets? Yeah, there's a reason they wear turbans and sheets in the middle of a desert bra. I'm just saying, if you jump out of there with 100 pounds of canvas and fucking, yeah, oh, ready to go kick some ass. 
you're already delusional. Like, yeah, these guys are, like, stumbling around, falling over, like, outside their fucking Humvee. The Sarge is, like, shaking his head. He's like, if I take these guys anywhere, they're all gonna die. I'd be like, I'll have to do something. Yeah, you know, like, in Vietnam, it's like, oh, your chances of survival are pretty low. Yeah, the chance of getting fucking ass raped by a Ho, Ho Chi Minh on your chin, yeah. Let's use the desert against them. Yeah, yeah, no, I, you have to come over here. Where? I'm not telling you. Yeah, we could be anywhere. We got, you don't doubt they've spent a long time digging with shovels underground. If you're struggling with how probable that is, okay, let's say you have an army. Yeah, what should we do? Well, we could go kill people. Or What, what do you want to do today? Do you want to go shoot people? You want to go dig holes? You guys can just go dig some holes. You don't have to, yeah, it doesn't have to be anaerobic. Yeah, you can, if you, if you pace yourselves and get consistent results, yeah, yeah, right. Your sergeant might be whipping you, or you know what I mean, your marshals might shoot you if you refuse to charge into our razor wire. I could force everyone to do things faster or be like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll you know, spoon feed you small rewards, give you a little bit of drugs, a little bit of food, a little bit of liquor, whatever, yeah, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of sexy sweaty bitch, straight up. You know, doubt prostitutes have been used as incentive for soldiers for a long time. Are they slaves? Well, you can either live in the middle of this desert by yourself, and, or you can uh, you got your sexy, sweaty bitch and some liquor. Yeah, yeah, it's your choice, motherfucker. They, uh, you don't doubt they picked this up from us. Yeah, you don't doubt we have commingled these things. They, I'm sure they know it's a lot smarter to s swindle people with things like, yeah, coercion, whatever. You have to think it's your choice. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, right. Otherwise, you're going to end up with people like me where, no, fuck, it's the King Henry motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, it's really easy for me to say King Henry motherfucker because I, god damn it. It's like, no, it's complicated. Sorry, guys. Anyway, no, anyone figured it out yet? When we start this operation, yeah, clock's running. Expensive clock. Yeah, yeah, the fucking ex most expensive prostitute in the world. Yeah, sexy sweaty bitch is here. She is the most expensive hooker in the world. The $10 billion prostitute. You get it. We could abort the operation. That means it'll cost twice as much to get back there. It depends. Yeah. Are we here to... Yeah. If, if you're, we're going to half-ass and pull out, he even says, we're not going to half-ass this. Why does he say that? Because, yeah, it's like... I hope you get it. Like, I hope you're not just dicking around for fun. Are, are we doing this? Or are we not doing this? If this is Imperator or Praetor, if, if we have to do this, then we have to do it? Do we have to do this? I'm just saying, Yeah. I, the worst thing you could do is just send in a bunch of units, lose most of them. Okay, retreat. Okay, we have to go back eventually. Yeah, you pissed away four times as much money. What I'm saying is, we, we, we it's kind of like a football game. It's like, break. As soon as you break and the, the quarterback gets the ball, everyone better know what they're supposed Yeah, everyone start running to where you're supposed to go. Wait, what are we supposed to do? Yeah, we made up a plan before this happened. Yeah, we're not going to start making up a plan after the play starts. As soon as we drop you in Afghanistan, go, like, yeah, every second counts, literally. Like, yeah, you're going to have to take breaks. Every, every second is going to count because, again, if there's a slight delay, yeah, you run out of water for a single day, maybe, okay, technically it won't, yeah, technically you can live for two days. Yeah, you can live for two days. Laying in a comfortable hospital bed in a nice gown, getting, yeah, yeah, don't worry, you'll be, yeah, you'll recover from this. Yeah, don't worry, you'll recover from Ho Chi Minh on your chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a difference between, oh, technically you could survive for a month without food. Can you work a hard physical labor job and think straight uh, under duress uh, and listen? Yeah, yeah, no, brah. Hopefully your soldiers are functional, not just technically alive. Yeah, how's your squad doing? Oh, don't worry, they're technically not dead. Right on, brah. <laughs> yeah, no, how, how far can, how bad can it get? You know what would be even worse? If a bunch of your soldiers get stranded there and they're still alive or get captured. Yeah, now we've got, yeah, where's my husband? Uh, did he die? No, he's, yeah, he's still alive. Okay. That means you, yeah, now, now we got to spend even more money and now it's more urgent. And yeah, all those soldiers that we paid to, to help us. Yeah, now we have to pay more people to help them. Yeah, yeah. There's a thing about, you know, crippling. You, we could kill them all or we could injure one of them. Yeah, and then everyone slows down. You wound one member of the herd to slow down everyone else. Hey, we might have to cut. No soldier left behind. Yeah. You might be thinking, yeah, just go in and kill them. No, no, no. Just casually stroll in like Matthew McConaughey and just stab you in the dick. Or whatever. Injure one of them. 
or kill. Yeah, you could kill. You know what I mean? God damn it! Like to us, we're we're having fun thinking of clever ways to fuck with you, and you're just like frustrated. Yeah, bashing the ant hill with a get a bigger hammer, hit the yeah, keep hitting the ants, grandmaster genocide. Thinking of every way to commit mass genocide, bitching about weapons of mass. Yeah, WMDs, weapons of mass destruction. Are they good? Bad? They're you want a monopoly on them because you don't know how else to win a war other than overwhelming force. And it's gotten to the point where, yeah, you need fucking caveman nukes and a howitzer. It's like, how are we going to, yeah, it'd be the easiest way to win this war would be to blow everything up. Yeah, we'd lose less soldiers. And that's usually the justification with like Japan. Yeah, no, we would have lost too many soldiers. Okay. I understand not wanting to, yeah. At a certain point, it's like, I, yeah, can you see why other people in the world, it's like, well, yeah, we killed everyone in your country because I didn't want to lose more soldiers when I was invading that country. Okay. If we invade, well, you, you were going to invade, yeah, Cuban Missile Crisis coming up, bud. Th yeah, I'm, I'd hate to <laughs> beat a dead horse. Like, yeah, I'm covered, I'm surrounded by dead horses, I can't help it. Yeah, th th this hip hip hypocrisy, whatever, yeah, it's only a big deal when you're... Yeah, 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 fucking broken record, whatever, hipster and douchebag. When you start judging them for be, yeah, I can't believe they would use weapons of mass destruction. Y the only people who have ever used weapons of mass destruction is you guys. You guys, the good guys? I'm just, whatever, whether it's nukes, whether it's Agent Orange, whether it, what about anth anthrax is not, yeah, anthrax is a pinpoint fucking precision fucking doctor scientist drive by with Bill Nye the science guy. I'm not even fucking joking. Yeah, you are straight getting capped by Bill Nye in a drive by. Yeah, where are they? I don't, yeah, yeah. Do, my GPS isn't working. They don't have GPS and they're able to navigate better than you are. Or no, we do have it. But instead of just giving everyone a bunch of stuff, they, they're, yeah, I, my thing's broken, I can't carry all this stuff, do we, yeah, here's more stuff, wait, uh, yeah, you get it, just throw money, at, throw more money into a flaming toilet, get bigger, bigger weapons of more massive destruction, I'm, I'm just sorry, it's like, I, I get, ooh, panicky, yeah, it's like, can we please learn from the last five times this happened, well, yeah, it was worth it just to kill those Nazis, or, we'll get to it. Or a lot of Nazis went to Argentina. Some people, I can't believe they let them do that. Yeah, they let them. Everyone go to that Argentina. It's on the other side of the world. We show, we're here to kill. No, we're looking for Nazis. Imagine I came to your country. I, no, I'm walking in. I'm looking for big Nars or whatever. I, I, yeah, I'm looking for people that I don't like in your country. Yeah, it's it's not up to you. It's up to me. That's it. It's that attitude of innate. Like, no, I, I get to... I decide what's right and wrong. I decide what's a war crime and what isn't. If I commit a war crime, it, it straight up doesn't matter. We had to. It, it was imperator praetor. Hey, it, it, very, it may very well be. But I hope you realize it's kind of like the thing with me. Where I was born evil. That's what that means. It's like the reason I don't follow your rules is because there, there's no point. Yeah, I'll still deal with the same consequences either way. Again, it's like beating your dog with a newspaper when they piss when they piss on the floor when they yeah. Ideally, right. If you do it too much, they're going to be confused, con frustrated, confused. Yeah, they might not. It might not be frustration. It could just be plain confusion in the sense that there is no literal pattern to it. It's like it doesn't matter. Yeah, your brain disassociates the two. It's like, well, cl clearly it doesn't matter whether I do the work or not do the work. I made a joke about this with Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat. You like kills with general. Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, I literally made like a six hour review video. And I'll try to find it. Yeah, I'm just saying. The point is. Ooh, like the the boss, you, you know what I mean? The that that stereotypical villain who is like shoots his own lieutenant because yeah, no one fails me. Boom. I've touched on this. I, I've had to delete that episode too. Punishments. Punishments only work if people understand what's happening, like flu thoroughly, fluently. Like you know, if if your wife sends you to the store to get something and you come back and that's that that was the wrong one. You, pro you at least understand that this is a, you, yeah, you need to go back and get the other one. Yeah, you're wasting twice as much gas, you get it, yeah. Well, at least now you get what I'm talking about. Okay, you gotta burn twice as much gas going back to the store, you gotta, yeah, you already wasted money on this thing, you're supposed to get the other thing. Whatever, yeah, no, she's, she's in a bad mood, and yeah, it is imperator praetor that you do whatever, yeah, whatever is gonna make her happy right now. Yeah, I, I, you'd probably wanna see, yeah, whatever, no, fuck yourself, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just saying... God damn it. Sorry to, yeah, a Freudian psych office on this. I'm trying to use examples that normal people are familiar with. Yeah, have you ever been in a fight with your boyfriend or girlfriend? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, some girls, yeah, I'm sure you've had a bitchy boyfriend. I'm just saying, it's, you know, most, god damn it. 
depends what culture you're in or from or around. You might be thinking, worried about how other cultures, I would doubt most cultures are thinking, yeah, I know what, that's why you're single. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know, man. With a lot of people, it's like, yeah, you, you've, this attitude, you might be wondering, why so spiteful? Bruh, if you've been bullied and pushed around and picked on and spent most of your life living in constant fear of getting robbed and attacked, and yeah, it's like, I hope you get it. Yeah, I don't want to just do bad things, but it's like, it's innate. It's like, anytime you go somewhere, it's like, I have a weapon, right? Yeah, I'm, why don't you carry a knife? Yeah, it's like, I don't always do it, but it's one of those things. It's like, some people are like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, why are you expecting a fight? It's like... I'm hoping not to. That, yeah, I'd rather have it and not need it, need it and not have it. Oh, we're trying to be a tough guy? Bro, I'm trying to avoid tough guys who go around looking, yeah, oh, I could beat you up. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, okay, you got to come over here so I can kick your kick your ass so I can fucking embarrass you. Whatever, bro. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. I. God damn it. It, it, it. And sometimes it pays to look, you know, to be able to control how innocuous you look, the threat condition. Yeah, maybe I do want to look pathetic and weak and, yeah, until I stab you. Because it's safer than trying to fist fight a fucking Neanderthal so that you can, yeah, be allowed to rape someone. I'm not even fucking joking. Sorry, guys. Like I said, we cannot smoke this much fucking weed at once. Yeah, we can, we straight up, we're going to be inhaling. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Yeah, it's too much, too much fucking rope. Sorry, I... I, I'm, I'm, if some of you probably get the idea. Like, yeah, you do not want... Yeah, we're trying to avoid... The same mistake we keep making, which is dumping in more resources than necessary. It's hard to say what's necessary. Ideally, you should have some plan that where it's like, okay, th this plan could work. Let's let's refine the plan. Yeah, let's try to reduce the costs, try to minimize the damages. Not just civilian lives. I just mean, again, cost. Like, god damn it. It's so, well, yeah, mo not just money, but time and effort and people and resources, food and water. I know what you're thinking. Yo, we, yeah, we can get more. If, like, it's like 20 different, yeah, logistics. Why is it, you got to manage all this stuff at once, all the time. And, yeah, in a lot of cases, you can procure, yeah, this is the one place. Pimp Dracula's mansion, motherfucker. Laugh it up. They control the water sources. Sure, you can take it. Do you know where it is? Are, are you going to go there and start driving around looking for whatever? Oh, we'll find them eventually, brah. Does anyone remember why we came here? Uh, uh, where's the hipster douchebag? Hipster douchebag, who, uh, alien conspiracy man. Uh, America's fighting war for oil and money, right? Yeah, brah. We came here for oil because we desperate, yeah. So you want me to give you even, yeah. Your solution is, okay, what if we brought a, extra gas, a lot more gas and oil? To, yeah, bring a bunch of fuel tankers full of gas for Pimp Dracula, he's just gonna take it, yeah, oh, thanks, buddy, yeah, you might be thinking, dude, get fucking real, the reason we're here is for this resource that, yeah, let's y burn the rest of our gas driving around looking for whatever, I guess, yeah, we'll find, yeah, if you see someone, shoot them, I guess, yeah, you, can you see why, to me, this is like, eight, like, planet, straight up Planet of the Apes, R yeah, you, the Planet of the Apes, they found some guns, they're driving around shooting things, yeah, yeah, what are we going to do? Like, god damn it. The, not all-encompassing. I, I hope it doesn't sound too bad. No, some of you guys are trying to meet me halfway. Yeah, you still have, like, spies and commandos, and y you get it, though. Those are not frontline, true. like, what? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, the difference between an, an assassin and, uh, like, the, the difference between me as the Persian Hashashanan. Yeah, everything's backwards. Now I got to charge into his phalanx, hypothetically. I know better. Yeah, yeah, I know better than to charge into a phalanx. We used to do this with people, too. I, did you bring a bathroom? Oh, laugh it up. I told you, they learned this from us. Yeah, they have a bathroom. Do you have a bathroom? Why, why would you need a bathroom? Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, I'm going to send you to Afghanistan with no food or water and no bathroom or whatever. Just go find all the... Yeah, go kill all the communists. S straight up, dude. Yeah. I, if you were in charge... Yeah, you're here to save. Okay, I'm, if you were in charge, I'm thinking, you know, those, the, I can't believe these leaders are doing this. You would commit horrendous war atrocities and be like, I didn't mean, yes, oh yeah, it's okay, I know you didn't mean to. Can you see why this sort of thing happens? All the, Why, yeah, there's so much horrible, I can't believe these people do this. Everyone does this shit all the time, it's just, okay, yeah, it's, yeah, what, it doesn't matter, yeah, whether we do it or not, you can still blame us for it, and with, with you, whatever, it's a, it was a long time ago. See, yeah. Oh, the Falkland Islands? Yeah, that was, like, a long time ago in the 90s. What about the 1940s? Yeah, that was, yeah. No, you get it. We've passed that point, I hope you get it. It's like, if you want 
if you want that judgment to be valid, it's like, okay, we gotta straight up Judge Judy, J Judge Joe Brown, it means we gotta go through a lot of shit and actually meticulous. yeah, I'm not saying you can never whatever. It, again, what, 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 what are you gonna do if I don't listen to you? Your office is gonna get more disorganized, more crazy, this will make less sense. Yeah, you're gonna start straight up thinking, a lot of people legitimately think it's aliens now because they don't know what, that's the joke about the Muslims on Mars. I hope they get it. Yeah, no, it's just basic, basic fucking competence. They're actually thinking, and you are playing Superman. Like, no, I'm stronger. I can be, you know, give, yeah. If, you know, if I just, yeah, I could just kick the shit out of them, brah. Whatever, yeah. I, I sincerely hope you believe that. I, I, yeah, don't, don't worry. You're the biggest, strongest, sexiest man ever. All, all the ladies, yeah, the world's most successful, fucking richest billionaire, richest football star, whatever. It's a fucking, yeah. You might think I'm immature, ooh, trying to be a uh, cool kid. Yeah, no. You are the one, the kids playing with plastic crowns and playing uh, fucking G.I. Joe. You kid, you are G.I. Joe. So we got Soldier Boy. Yeah, straight up Soldier Boy is G.I. Joe. And a little Chinese girl is going to kick your ass because they. God damn it. Y you had to learn a lot of stuff that is now either useless or detrimental. These people, it's like. If we set up this network right, okay, kid, what, soldier boy, what's your job? Just make sure they don't get into this one trench. Or, yeah, don't worry, you're, I don't expect you to win this whole war for us. Were you cannon fodder? You will be if you don't shut the fuck up and listen to Grandmaster Genocide. Yeah, you get it. He knows this is serious. It's like, ideally, I'm going to put his little workload. Yeah, I'm the evil dictator. I don't want to work you too hard. Straight up. You guys should take breaks. Pace yourself. If The more instruction I give you, the more I tell you to do, the less effective it's going to be. You're thinking, no, no, the fucking hardcore sergeant. Man, come on, yeah. Don't worry. I'll just kick more ass and give me more stuff. We'll bring you more bullets. And yeah, my gun doesn't work. And I'm sorry, guys. The, the Taliban, it's like the reason this was such a disaster is you had slowly been working up to this type. That, yeah, it had been building up and building up. And oh, it's about to spill over. Yeah, they saw this coming, this bloated fucking automaton, rusty piece of shit fucking android. Yeah, and they like, they busted it open with C, you know what I mean? It, it's like bursting it open at just the right time, hit it just the right way where it's like, yeah, the, the natural disadvantage you're leaning, this logistical disadvantage, it's like, yeah. I'm trying to think of a good metaphor where it's like, you know, you're pulling in one direction. It's like clotheslining someone where they're running in one direction and you hook your arm in the other direction. So it's t twice as effective or like a whip snapping back. It's like, yeah, not only are you logistically fucked, they also pulled you, you away from that at the worst possible time. And yeah, it's str strand them in the middle of nowhere. Make sure this is, I'm just sorry. This has been, yeah, this is like, if you want to be a, ge a general, blah, blah, blah. There's a reason they study, oh, the Carthaginians and the Romans, and yeah, yeah, yeah. We study these things because, why do I know this? Because I'm trying to take this seriously. I'm trying to be professional for George W. You know, doubt he's at least heard of the Carthaginians. Yeah, he might not know everything about it. He, you know, yeah, is ooh. Yeah, yeah, you might be, goddamn, George W. Yeah, Google the shit out of that, bro. Get your phone, Google, go to the Google Gulag and figure that shit out, bro. And I guess, yeah, last point to touch off on this. Yeah, I'm trying to... Keep it isolated in little sections like this. This is the best way I can try to keep things organized. This is my initial speculation before we're in the middle of the shit desert shit storm. Going in, I'm thinking, yeah, you're you're leaning towards this logistical disadvantage. This is the thing. You might be thinking, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure the generals have at least thought about this. You get it. The stop. Yeah, you, I'm. Yeah, I'm spec. The colonel's probably. Yeah, he's pulling out the actually book. God damn it. You know what I mean? The whole stopwatch thing. I'm sure the general is telling the colonel before he leaves. Yeah, when we as soon as we start this operation, yeah, click the stopwatch. Is what does that mean? It means the money is full. Yeah, it means the, the money is going to keep pouring out of this thing. If you stop it, everyone's going to die, or we're going to have to spend ten times more money getting everyone out quickly. And if that doesn't work, we're going to have to spend a hundred million billion. I know. I am not even joking. I'm not even exaggerating. I would have to put a hundred more billions. On. Yeah, you get it. I'd have to spend the next five minutes going billion, zillion, billion, and that's not even, yeah. And I hope you get it. It doesn't, doesn't mean I had to bring a bunch of cash. It means we've already spent, we've already invested in all these things. It's, God, it's like, don't, don't, uh, don't spend it all in one place. Remember this, yeah, again, Superman, the, the movie's over when, yeah, no, the movie's never over. The war, I hope you get it. We just have to do whatever it takes to kill the, the bad guy. 
You get it. You you think that, okay, I, if I go kill the bad guy, that means I'm the hero, I get whatever I want, and the movie's over. No, there's another war. What do you mean? They're, they're, you get it. If you exhaust your whole army here, kind of like Vietnam, yeah, what about that war? What about this war? Well, yeah, there's a lot of wars going on. You, you, you're the one encouraging this by trying to kill all the bad guys and tell everyone what to do. Fucking grandmaster genocide, I'm just saying. Yeah, this this would be this would be difficult enough if you were just dealing with one of these problems or trying to negotiate one one thing with one. What about Ukraine? Yeah, imagine being in the Kremlin right now again. Even if you weren't evil, even if you, there was some people there trying to. Yeah, it's like what what are we gonna do? There's like five. There are whole yeah. When you're in that situation, when you've already been shit kicked around, you've already spent most of your life. Yeah, it's like. I'm sorry, you, your brain is not, I'm not just, doesn't mean they're all smarter, but it forces you to think differently. God damn it, this is kind of funny. It brings, you know what this reminds me of? The Battle of Britain. Oh, yeah, 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 all of Monstraden, yeah, Battle of Britain. <laughs> Goring, the man with the tactical helmet of hairspray. Yeah, we're all waiting for you, Goring. Yeah, your job is to go bomb their, yeah, destroy the Royal Air Force, and when you're done, that means we can, win, yeah. We have to wait for you to finish, and so we, yeah, take your turn, and who's up next to gang rape the queen? It's like taking turns ass raping the queen. I'm just saying, brah. Yeah, we're waiting for you to finish there, bud. Hurry up. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Ideally, these people should all be working together. I don't think it was that petty and personal, but you get it. In a, you know, a normal military, there is petty little office politics like that. That each one has their own performance review, and well, technically, he's doing better than you right now. Whatever, for one reason or another. The littlest things where it's like, let's say one guy is, let's say the guy who is expected to do everything, like the Goring, yeah, one general, you you have to do this all first. You got to go in first. You got to make as few mistakes as possible. Win is yeah. You have to be Superman, and then yeah, get out of there so I can run in and actually. Oh my God, can you see how quickly these guys not. I know how it sounds, borderline bickering like an episode of Friends with each other, where it's like, we've already, you've already exhausted half your Air Force, it's like, we could use help, it's like, I can't help you until you finish. I can literally imagine, yeah, general officers, like, fucking throwing tampons at each other in the, in the bathroom of the officer's bar, like, doing little pinky ring, yeah, I have to go pee, yeah, come pee with me, yeah, I'm not even joking, guys. Like, no, you, I, you know what I mean? Bickering in office politics, where it's like, a general might know he might lose his career or whatever if it, if he fucks up too bad. So yeah, buddy, you 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 know what I mean. In the end, they might not fighting each other, but yeah, they should have zero friction between each other. Maybe a minor annoyance. Maybe the guy's being a douchebag. If he's being a hipster douchebag. Yeah, laugh it up with the with the evil fascist. Yeah, I don't want to work you too hard. I'm gonna make sure you have drugs and breaks and sexy sweaty bitch. Why? A happy worker is an efficient worker. Yeah, oh, a happy worker is a very efficient worker. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whether I'm evil or not, or even if I am evil, I have a vested interest in your happiness and well-being because, yeah, one I one person who you'll you'll do better than ten people who make a billion zillion more dollars than you. Yeah, the, the, I don't know. The, I don't. I, I'll admit I don't know too much about all these things. But even even just starting to think of as I was writing these notes, I'm thinking, okay, the, right. Each piece, like I said, it, it would take some time and effort to balance. Okay, how much fuel should we bring? Yeah, should we not bring any vehicles at all? Should we walk, dude? It, get real. Should we ride horses and camels? At this point, swimming on a horse. Yeah, you get it. It's like, do you have a better idea? Can you imagine these generals thinking like, we have? You get it. It's like the war is up. We've already declared war. We already we're on the way there now. We are. We're landing in China in five minutes. We're supposed to have a plan. It's like those football movies. Or oh, come on, coach. What are we supposed to do? You get it. Like even with all your resources of the Pentagon, it, it's god damn it. I guess it's. I don't know. I'm trying to think of, again ways to communicate between both of us. This. How, yeah. How can we avoid this again in the future? God damn it. You need a plan other than I'm I'm stronger than you and I'm going to punch you so hard it's going to hurt, hurt you a lot. I, I certainly hope you believe that because, yeah, that's the easiest way to cut your balls off, basically. I, sorry, someone's thinking, wait, come on, guy, get real. Obviously, there's not everyone is treated that well. Yeah, you, I'm making it sound a little peachy and green. Yeah, everyone gets some breaks and drugs and bra. Soldier Boy, Grandmaster Genocide, yeah, he gets treated very well because he's a fucking badass motherfucker. If, yeah, are you with us or against us? 
when when you go yeah uh, yeah you've seen a lot of the the civilians on the news that's you god damn it i'm not saying you kill all of them yeah we kill them too sometimes usually you're the one when you go blow up a city somewhere because those are the only places you can think to find it's like oh we found one of the, they do have some cities yeah that's where all the civilians live there might be yeah there might be a couple soldier boys there they, yeah okay think about it I'm, I, I know how that sounds. I'm not trying to say, oh my god, you massacred a city. Yeah, Grandmaster Genocide was up. Logistically, whatever, sure. Most of your kills are civilians. And then I know people like, the cost of this war. Yeah, douchebag to hipster douchebag. Some people will think, is that my fault? Yeah, you went to the other side of the world and blew up a city that you didn't even know, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, yeah, that's my fault. Yeah, yeah, when American people killed American people in America, that was my fault. Because they were Nazis? Well, they were communists. Yeah, because you were a fuck. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's it's not. Yeah, it's beyond. The reason I'm not insulted is because it sounds like a fucking Jar Jar Binks floppy dildo Kim Jong Un Donald Trump on a fucking dildo shit show festival. It, it's just, it, yeah, fucking nonsense. It's like whatever Monty Python. Yeah, straight up. At this point, John Cleese is the admiral, fuck, grand admiral, grand master genocide, whatever. He, I'm sure he would be great at Grandmaster Genocide. Straight up, he probably would. Not exist.